Now, before starting the video, I'd like to talk about the sponsor of this video keys fan. Keysfan.com offers cheap and legal OEM software keys in a simple and reliable way. You can quickly activate software like Windows and Microsoft Office using these 100% official keys, which are fully compatible with online activation. Moreover, they provide lifetime after-sales support along with 24 by 7 customer service. Right now, their software super deals are live, so don't miss out. Upgrade your software at unbeatable prices with Keysfan. Simply add the product you need to your cart and catch 50% discount for Windows Series with RTG50. 62% discount for Microsoft Office and bundles with RTG62. Don't forget to check the description for more details. What's going on everyone? It's RGB Tech back here again. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to downgrade your iPhone from iOS 26 beta to iOS 18.5. Now, if you've updated to the iOS 26 beta, and you're already facing issues like battery drain and some annoying bugs or errors, then this video is definitely for you. Just to show you, my iPhone is currently running the latest iOS 26 beta. Visually, it looks great. And I love the new liquid glass theme, but in reality, it's super buggy right now. So let's get started. But first of all, on iPhone, you need to disable Find My. Simply go to Settings, go to Your Account, go to Find My, and turn off Find My iPhone. All right, so it's turned off. Now for this process, you need a Mac or Windows PC. To begin, you need to follow these steps. It's quite easy. You need Apple iTunes and the iPhone IPSW firmware file based on your model. Here, select the iPhone and choose your model. Here, I'll choose my iPhone 12. Now iOS 18.5 is currently the latest signed version, which is stable. Let's go ahead and download the file. So here, I have already downloaded the firmware file. Now you need to download and install iTunes. Please don't install the Microsoft Store version. It won't work properly for this process. I'll directly provide the link in the description for the PC version. But if you are already using the Mac version, then no worries. You can follow these steps as usual. After installing, open iTunes and agree to the welcome page. Now here you need to sign in with your Apple account, the one you use on your iPhone. Now connect your iPhone to the PC via a USB cable. All right, click on continue, then continue again. Now click on get started. Here you'll see your iPhone data and the iOS version currently installed, which is iOS 26. Before downgrading, it's required to first backup your current data on iOS 26. Here in backups, select this computer. If you want, you can enable encrypt your local backup if you have important data for security. Here, you need to set the backup password. Now click on backup now. The backup process will start. You can see the backup progress here. When the backup is completed, it will show the result here as the latest backup with the date and time. Once the backup is completed, next we need to install the firmware of iOS 18.5. I have already downloaded the IPSW file. Now make sure the iPhone is connected. From your keyboard, hold the shift key and left click on restore iPhone. Go to the path where you downloaded the firmware file. Select the file and now click on restore. This will restore your iPhone to iOS 18.5 from iOS 26. Although it will erase your data, I will show a way to restore it. So keep watching. Now apply settings. Click on restore. You will see a message like this, showing that the iPhone is restored to factory settings. Your iOS device will reboot and restart. Click OK. It starts to boot the system. All right, it's booted to the Hello screen. Complete the setup process as usual until you see this. Yeah, continue with partial setup. Again, continue until you see this screen. So here, we need to restore this iPhone back to normal with your data. Simply select from Mac or PC. My iPhone is already connected to the PC. Now here, we need to make some modifications to the iOS backup stored on the computer. 
From your keyboard, hold the Windows and R keys to launch the Run dialog box. Enter this command to get access into the backup folder, or you can manually go into this path as the admin folder path. So, open the backup folder, then the iPhone device ID folder, and go to the path where you will find many different folders. Scroll down until you find the info P list file. Right click on it and open it in Notepad. Now, here, you need to change the build version to the correct string value. Let me show you. The IPSW file you downloaded has the build version. Copy it. Now paste it here. It also shows your iPhone model. Below that, you'll find product version. This is really important to restore the data to the current version. So change the value 26 to 18.5, which we currently restored to. And that's it. Now save the file. Go back to iTunes. If you click on continue, it might give an error saying it can't restore to the older version. But no worries. Simply close iTunes and relaunch it. All right. Now click on continue. The restoring process will now start as normal. All right. As you can see, the iPhone has successfully been restored and the phone will restart. Now log in with your Apple account. And there we go. Finally, we are back on iOS 18. All the iPhone settings, your important data, and everything gets restored to normal. It works smoothly as usual on this stable build. Now again, if you want to install the iOS 26 beta, it's your choice. No. And that's it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more, and Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.